fairing feels fantastic. I've never felt this good when riding this, this Honda CRF. I'm not getting any air in my chest or pretty much anywhere in my torso. Of course in the hands I'm getting some air and I'm getting pretty cold already. And what's even better is I don't feel any buffeting in my helmet riding here so that's fantastic news so far I'm loving this now this bike is starting to feel like an adventure bike I can actually use it for long distance cruising as well not just these short distances in the local track so I'm super happy about the purchase <laughs> wow that feels fantastic to not get the cold air in your chest and even in your neck I'm not getting any cold air in my neck so that makes it so much warmer to ride in these conditions Woo! a little bit of a drift sideways action here and I am getting air in my helmet but it's not buffeting it's not buffeting at all so the deflection to your helmet is very stable air and I like that it's not too tall so it's not in my way of sight at all but yeah the fairing feels great let's take a short break here ah have to defrost my fingers it looks good looks really badass I would even say <laughs> really nice Put it in the comments, how would you rate this in the looks department? Because the fairing is working really nicely, so at least it's very functional. But I don't know, how do you feel about the look? I think it looks ve much more rowdy than the stock setup of the CRF, especially the halogen version that we in the Europe get. This is a great improvement on the bike's looks, in my opinion. It looks more, more like a rally bike now, but yeah. The bike feels fantastic now. I love the fact that I'm not cold in my chest anymore. I feel like I have the Honda 300 Rally, CRF 300 Rally, but in a better looking package and with less weight. And now I have the fairing for high speed cruising. Oh, it's fantastic to ride here. It's just fantastic tracks. Let's have a drift here. A little bounce Woo! I think this fairing is actually better than the stock Tenere fairing because it's a little bit wider and the Tenere fairing was always a little turbulent to my helmet and this one doesn't feel like that at all for my use case I think this is fantastic very good compromise and the lights are equally if not even more impressive Here's some side-to-side -side comparisons to the stock lights of the CRF300L. I added a few different angles so you can see the difference better. And I used the same settings with the camera, so that's why the new light is burning through. But ignoring that little detail, you can clearly see that the new light is more white in color and it's definitely way brighter than the stock light of the CRF. The main reason I even built this tower was to get more light during the nighttime rides here in Finland because it's quite dangerous if you can't see anything doing 80. So this new light looks very good compared to the stock and I'm very happy about that. It's gonna be way safer for me to ride fast. Here's just a super quick riding video with the new light during nighttime. So far I have to say that the experience with this Plexi has been very, very positive, especially here in the freezing cold temperatures of Finland. It's minus 16 now and I can feel it in my fingers and pretty much everywhere, but the Plexi does really help with the cold, especially here in the chest area. So I gotta say it's a very, very 
nice and pleasant experience compared to the stock setup of the CRF. So basically this is almost now like the rally model but the lights are probably even better and for me I like this look better than the rally version and this only cost like 600 euros. I'm definitely not feeling like I should have gone with the rally version anymore. The tank is a little small on this one but I might do the Acer bis upgrade later so that's gonna fix all the range and anxiety that I have with this one. The guys at the Adventure Man Cave say that the Plexi is very robust and it can take a lot. They even have a video on the website where they run this over by a car with a car and it withstands the car's weight and doesn't break. So I have a high expectation that this plastic is going to be very robust and you can actually see it here. It's bending very nicely. It's uh, very malleable. Even in minus 16 degrees Celsius, it's not hard like most plastics. So I think this is going to be a very robust plexi. Even if you fall, you might not break it. And they do sell parts for this individually. So you can buy, buy the plexi if you ever break it, you can buy it separately. So, so far, highly, highly recommend this product. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I bought this with my own money, so I can say what I like. I don't have any affiliation with the company, but I do like the, the product and uh, the way they do business. The shipping time to Finland from Portugal was two days. So those guys, <laughs> they really use the high priority shipping. The shipping cost is a little high, but it's gonna come to you fast. So I can't complain about that. So yeah. Look at this beautiful Finland at the moment. It's uh, the weather is other than it's a little cold. The weather is phenomenal. I gotta say it's so fantastic to ride here. My legs are a little bit cold, but that's fine. We can deal with that. 